Hello Aries. Welcome to a cut above tarot. In advance, I'd ask that you would please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Well, don't comment until afterwards. <laughs> but I'm glad you're here. Yeah, yeah. Now, Aries, uh, let me let you in on a little secret. Secret is, well, it's not really a secret, but it's something I realized. You know, I uh, just... I decided, I think it was me that decided, to do a full week reading. And normally, people I know, you know, personally, I know, I normally do week at a time readings for them. So I didn't think that it was going to be uh, a very long reading. However, uh, I found out it is. Therefore, in the near future, unless I am compelled to do very long readings, I'm going to keep them sweet and short. Yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. <laughs> so, Aries, let me tell you what we're doing here. I have, uh, I'm using the Witch's Oracle. I love it. It's beautiful. And it's very informative. The book. We are using, uh, for conversational pieces, Ace Metaphor. Okay, and I did not pull your ace metaphor card. Oh, yes, I did get it all over there. Well, I can pick them up, so I might as well keep going. Okay, nothing came up. All right, let me see if I can give you a little bit. Let me see if I can make this a little bit. Aries, my lovely Aries, yeah. All right, Aries. Um, so I have the Ace Metaphor cards. These are your conversational cards. We have um, the Homemade Deck. And we have Essential Tarot. So if you don't mind, I'm going to get started because I'm already two minutes into the video. All right. Now, on your Witch... On your Witch's Oracle cards, for Monday you have the Besom. Besom, Besom, which is the Witch's Broom. Okay? All right, so I'm going to read that to you. And then we'll go ahead from there to your other cards. All right, Besom. To draw this card indicates that it is time to make a clean sweep of things. It's time to clean house, and now it's time to discard what useless, whether it be person or thing, and remove the negativity that has been surrounding you lately. It needs to be swept away, and the positive swept back into your life. So Libra, they're saying it's time for you to put some things to rest, time for you to change up some stuff. Get rid of people that no longer serve you, that are not in your life for good reasons, or they're just holding you back, or, or they uh, they don't ever have nothing good to say, or they finding reasons to help you to stay in in a in a state that you don't desire to be in anymore. Okay, people that's draining you of money or your energy or your mental energy. Yeah, I've been there, Libra. I didn't realize until everybody left and I was on, I had a weekend to myself. I was mentally tired. Slept the whole weekend. I was like, good Lord, I had no actual idea. I was that tired. So yeah, Libra, you may be going through something similar to that or in that area. But it's time to go ahead on and sweep away the debris. Person, place, or thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you have the nine of cup, Libra. And you have the two of rods upside down. Now, uh, the Nine of Cups, it's like a wish being granted. So let's find out what your wish is that's being granted. Okay. And the Two of Rods, the Two of Rods is upside down in reverse. Normally, this is the traveling card, right? You you looking up across the water trying to figure out which way you're going to go. But upside down, I don't know. Maybe you're not able to move right now. I can't call it yet. But we're about to find out. Okay, here it goes. The Nine of Cups. Surrounded by golden cups and man beams happily. 
The peacock feather in his head denotes good luck. This wish card promises that a wish, probably a material nature, will be granted to the questioner. So, Libra, uh, you have a wish that's being granted. Okay? This is a good luck card. So once you sweep away all of that other stuff that you no longer need, your wish is being granted. Or maybe that is your wish that's being granted. To remove everything out of your life that no longer serves you. Okay? So let's see what this Two of Rods has to say. Okay? The Two of Rods. All right? It says, in the reverse, it says, because you got it in reverse. It says, try not to lose heart or let others hold you back. Coincide with the beast, I'm down it. It says keep the faith. So they don't want you to allow people to hold you back. They want you to keep the faith. Okay. Keep on pressing forward. Libra. Your name may have an F in it, may start with an F, or uh, whoever the people is or, or the person is that you need to uh, uh, to go ahead on and separate yourself from. May have an F in a name. May live in apartment number F. Uh, yeah. All of the above. They also say, Libra, that you need to start back taking med your uh, vitamins. Okay? Your energy has been low lately. Okay? And you know why, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Because others are draining from you. Draining you. Yeah. And that was Monday, the 7th. Tuesday. Now, you also know this if, if you don't know, but I'm going to say this anyway because a lot of people do know it, though, but I'll just say it anyway. Sometimes when you have readings, I know when I have readings, or even if I'm just used, reading the regular horoscope, things happen to me, or happen for me, uh, either in advance or a little bit afterwards. So, just because this reading is from Monday to Sunday doesn't denote that it's going to actually happen on Monday. Okay, this could be for Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, your days may fall a little bit further out. Okay, so take heed to that. All right, so Tuesday, uh, November the 8th, 2022. You have the Labrith card. Okay, Labrith. Wow. Yep, you got some, some things going on. I know about the Labrith card. It's twists and turns and stuff like that, like a maze in your life. Uh, we'll, yeah. Anyway, we're going to read it, okay? The Libris represents a journey to our own center and back again out into the world. Libris has long been used as meditation and prayer tool as a metaphor for life's journey. We can walk the Libris either spiritually, mentally, or in actual fact. It is a symbol that creates a sacred space and place and takes us out of our ego to that which is within Basically, the Labrith is also a metaphor for the journey to the center of our deepest self, then back out into the world with a heightened understanding of who we are. It's high time you got reacquainted with the inner you, Libra. Okay? You might not can see this card. Yeah. Anyway, it got a lot of spirals in it. Okay? The gemstone that goes with this card is so delight. So the light represents the journeys that we make in life, both inner and outer. It purifies the mind and brings us insight into the inner workings of the universe. Harness the energy of soda light when you need help finding your way on life's journey. Okay, there's an incantation that goes with this. It says, I lost myself in search of a new me. This should never have come to be. So now lead me back to the place. I began because, after all, that was the right place. Right plan, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. All right. Your central tarot card is the Eight of Pentacles. So you may have felt like you was out of sorts with your money. Look, you got that. And then the homemade card that fell out on it just did no sense, nonsense. So there may have been some nonsense going on in your money, which caused you to have no sense or your money is very low or it's not in a place where you would like it to be. Okay. Yeah. I know Libras like their money. 
They like their money. They like their beautiful things. They like to look good. They like their they, uh, spouse to look good. Uh -huh. When they walk down the street, or wherever they go, all eyes on them. Yep, Libra, Libra likes to keep that, keep stuff looking good. So let's see what this Eight of Pentacles is talking about. Okay. Let's check out this pentacle. The Eight of Pentacles says, A young craftsman, his tools around him, carefully examines his handiwork. You're a quick study. Advance your craft with consciousness. I'm sorry, advance your craft with conscientious efforts. Success can be achieved through old-fashioned hard work. Okay? Ain't nothing wrong with working to get what you want, to achieve what you desire. And that's for Tuesday, Wednesday, November the 9th. You have the lightning card. The lightning card is a warning card. It's like a tower. Let's see what they're telling you for the lightning. Lightning says, typically the symbolic meaning of lightning deals with instant and divine intervention. Lightning is a major message from a higher source. A message for the observer to wake up and pay attention to his or her surroundings. Libra. When this card is drawn, it should be taken as a warning to do just that. Libra. Pay close attention to what creative or destructive forces are at work in your life. Libra. And then handle them accordingly. If you choose to ignore the warning, lightning may very well strike. The gemstone for Wednesday is opal. It's an orange opal. It says opals are once known as serrania or thunderstones. The brilliant play of color within precious opals flash like lightning across the sky. Meditate on opal for divine inspiration and enhanced perception. The incantation for this card is. I've just been warned to be alert in order to remain unhurt. Show me what I need to see and let love and light envelop me, envelop me. I've just been warned to be alert in order to remain unhurt. Show me what I need to see and let love and light envelop, envelop me. Okay. All right, you also have the chariot card. Look like you're going to move forward. You're going to do exactly what they said on Wednesday. You ain't going to let no grass grow under your feet. You're going to move forward. But let's also see what the chariot card means in this book, in the essential book. Okay, being the seventh card in the... In Arcanus, it says... Linked to Cancer and the Moon, twin sphinxes, one black, one white, draw a chariot emblazoned with the symbol of yin and yang, balance negative and positive forces to achieve success, main focus, and attend to details. You may be going on a long journey. Pretty much the same thing, huh? I'm glad these cards be coinciding with one another, so you know I didn't make this up. All right, so you may be getting ready to take a long journey. However, Libra, they want you to watch your surroundings. Be uh, uh, be a little bit more alert about what's going on around you, okay? Uh, make sure that you uh, take heed to all the warnings. Yep. <clears throat> now, this is what you got. All of these came out. Okay. Yeah. This is the pimp slap card, but that's more like saying a surprise. So, yeah. You're going to get a surprise. Okay. Yeah. There's somebody that's only out for money. Yeah. So, 
whatever this is or whoever these people are that you have on Monday and they tell you you need to let them go, you're probably going to find out. There's a strong possibility you're going to find out. These people aren't hanging around you for money. Uh-huh. Yep. And if this, even if it's a group of people that are religious, that's what it is. They want money. Don't get me wrong. I'm, I, I'm not down in nobody's uh, church or nothing, but it says this group of people uh, hang around you and, and, and draw you in because for money, for your money. Okay? And that's the truth. And that's the truth. One thing I'm going to tell you, Libra. I don't lie. I ain't going to lie to nobody. So, if I was standing flat foot in front of somebody and the Lord gave me a word, I'm not going to switch it up because they want me to make it sound something. That I'm going to tell you exactly what it said. Thus said the Lord. All right. Now, they want you to watch your feet, you know, make sure that you're taking good care of your feet because if your feet go bad, it'll mess up the rest of you. You start having problems with your ankles, your legs, or your knees. Yeah, you got to take care of them feet, baby. Okay? Go get you a foot massage or, 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 get, or soak your feet. Massage them bad babies. Uh, paint your toenails. Uh, clean up under, under the toenail. All of that stuff. If your toenail not looking like it's supposed to, get you some of that Vicks Vapor Rub or something. Rub it on your toenails for a few weeks and watch and see what happens. You know, in the morning and at night, every time you take a bath, clean and dry your feet and do that. Okay, somebody got funky toes. They saying you need to take care of your feet, baby. You'd be surprised. What, what you, what I, if, without, if you don't have good feet, you, you can mess up. So I'm, I'm going to say this, and I'm going to let it go. There are people who did not realize how important it is to have healthy feet. And when your feet go bad, and if it go bad for many years at a time, and you didn't do anything to reverse it, you end up that some of those people lost their limbs, they lost their legs, or they ended up having uh, inflammation and all sort of stuff, end up having to be in wheelchairs. We don't want none of that happen to you, okay? Take care of them feet. Even if they start looking real rough, it ain't too late. It ain't too late until it's too late. You hear what I'm saying? Take care of your feet. The last card you got is time to reflect on Wednesday. They want you to take some time to reflect. Reflect on a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? What you're going to do, you're probably going to reflect all the way back to Monday where they told you to start getting rid of some people in your life that's weighing you down, that's cutting you, stopping your blessings from coming in. Because as soon as you get rid of these people, the places, or things, or whatever it is, your blessings going to start trying to run over you. They're going to overtake you, Libra. All right, let's go to Thursday. Thursday. Thursday is November the 10th. Okay, you got the hag card. Yeah, it's not what you think, though. <laughs> okay, the hag card. Okay, that's not it. Hag. It says the old adage, with age comes wisdom, Libra. I'm sorry, I've been calling you Libra all this time, Aries. I am so, 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 so embarrassed. My goodness. Uh, but I'm not going to start just reading over Aries. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. My humble apologies. I know somebody behind me, okay? Yeah, but uh, I'm trying to stay focused right here with you, Aries. My apologies. But you may have Libra in your chart, Aries. So uh, don't um, don't discard this reading. I know you might say, dang, that's the third time she done messed this up, y'all. Please forgive me. All right? I'm going to go take me a long, hot, soaked bath when I'm done with y'all, okay? <laughs> Make sure I get everything right. We're going we're gonna to refresh ourselves. So let's get on with this hag card, Aries. The old adage, which age, age comes wisdom, is the message of this card. As we grow, we learn. We mentally shape-shift into become the person we were destined to be, Aries. The closest to you have been noticing this transformation. Those that are close to you have been noticing this transformation has taken place in you, Aries. 
and in you in recent months, and you have been feeling the change as well. Embrace the new you. Don't be afraid to use the wisdom you have gained over time to reinvent yourself or to show yourself to others in a different light. The gemstone for this Aries is the Holy Stone, H-O-L-E-Y. It's water worn. It's a water worn stone, naturally pierced with holes, or often called hag stones, because they are shaped by the passage of time. They help you leverage your own time and experience in life to cultivate a deeper sense of wisdom. These humble stones are protective, and they help you petition the goddess as the crone for her aid. There's an incantation, Aries. Change comes and changes go. With age comes wisdom, this we know. I will use that wisdom to grow and thrive, and once again, to come alive. So Aries, your card is the temperance card. You can have the temperance card. And let's see what the temperance card is saying. La -di -da, la -di -da, -di da Okay, did I pass it up? Yeah, I did. Linked to the sign of Sagittarius, the archer, an angel pours liquid from one vessel into another, blending the essence. This card represents a mixing of elements within oneself and within relationships, reaching to the past for continuity that you can carry into the future. This auspicious card brings good health. I'm sorry, brings good health. So, all right, you're going to be health conscious on Thursday. And it's going to bring you good health. Okay? Make sure you take care of your feet. It's going to bring you good health. All right? There's somebody by the name of K. I have K in their name. Or probably live in apartment number K. Or on the street called Avenue K. But there's somebody with K that you know. Somebody you know named K. K. Might call itself KK. But uh, you was wondering about KK. Did KK do a spell on you? And the car came up in reverse. So no. KK didn't do no spell on you to keep you. Okay. All right. Friday. Friday is the 11th. You have the magic wand. The magic wand. The magic wand. The magic wand. Darling. Okay, all magic wands found throughout history are said to be able to transmit energy to anything and anywhere. It is a focus point of your energy to channel magic into a specific place for a specific purpose. Aries. By receiving this card in a reading, you are given the gift of being able to achieve what has been eluding you for some time. Aries. Or the ability to make whatever changes in your life that need to be made. Wands are associated with yang energy. The power to create change. Use your wand to focus your energy and make it happen. Aries. Alright. Your crystal gemstone is called the scepter crystal. It actually looks like a scepter. It's kind of brown. Okay, and it has a head on it. Scepters form when one crystal caps are terminations of another, resembling a crystal wand. There, they are masters at moving energy and directing focus. Work with a scepter's crystal whenever you need to focus your intent to create change. Now, I don't know if y'all going to be able to see this, but I'm going to show you just because I feel like that I, I, I need to. But that's a scepter. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a scepter crystal. And there's the incantation to it, so I'll read that. Magical tool in my hand. The future will be very grand. If you help me wave 
away the useless ways of yesterday. Change is necessary. Change is good. I now embrace it as I should. Magical tool in my hand, the future will be very grand if you let me wave away the useless ways of yesterday. Change is necessary. Change is good. I now embrace it as I should. Boing! Yeah, I know. I'm a little comical, y'all, but it's okay. All right. So, Aries, you got the sun card and the two of cups. Woo! As soon as you make that change. Wow. Wow. Look like you're about to have a beautiful relationship, Aries. I applaud you. Congratulations in advance. So let's read this. I want to see. You got the sun card and the two of cups. The sun card is the happiest card in the deck, but I still like to read them because each deck means has different meanings to the cards. Okay, so... A chair rides a white pony through a field of sunflowers under the benevolent sun. Solar energy is powerful and fulfilling, bringing forth contentment and positive energy. Happy relationships and satisfying creative endeavors follow. Could be the time to expand your horizon, professionally or socially, Aries. This could be a good time for you to expand your horizons professionally or socially. Okay, this card says, talks about having happy relationships and satisfying your creative endeavors. Okay, but it's with the two of cups. So it's your relationship, Aries. Look like you're about to have an amazing relationship. Something that's probably off the charts. Okay, a young couple is absorbed only in each other. This is the card of passion and romance. Your relationship will enter a new and important phase. Okay, okay, so sound like that somebody's about to say, hey, let's just go ahead on and just be a couple. All right, you're going to make it exclusive. Your relationship will enter a new and important phase. Will an engagement or marriage result? Ooh, it says also intense eroticism. <laughs> Ooh, hey, Reese. Hey, hey. Yay, yay. All right, Saturday. Saturday, you got a lot of cup cards on Saturday. You got the Athame. The Athame. The Athame. And let's see what the Athame talks about. Oops, that's it. The message of this card suggests that while you have the ability to see both sides of any of the issues or problems that are facing at this time, you are choosing to be very one-sided and are only seeing what you want to see. Wow, Aries. Rather than digging deeper for the answer that will allow the situation to be resolved once and for all, it has been dragging on far too long. As the sword has a double edge, so do most things. It's the duality of dark and light, good and bad, that balances our universe. One cannot survive without the other. You must now open your mind to all possibilities, Aries. And look into both sides of the situation to get the information that you are seeking. That is where you will ultimately find the truth, Aries. The gemstone for this card is called, I might mess it up, uh, Rutilated Quartz, R-U-T-I-L-A-T-E-D, Rutilated Quartz. Okay. It is a combination of two minerals, clear quartz and blade-like in conclusion, a rutile, R-U-T-I-L-E. This union of energies help us see the bigger picture as this gemstone boosts our skills of perception, communication, and judgment. Work with this stone to see the situation from another angle, Aries. There's an incantation for this stone. 
the rutilated quartz. Front and back, up and down, side to side, and all around. Open my eyes to all that is there. And allow my judgment to be entirely fair. Front and back, up and down, side to side, all around. Open my eyes to all that is there and allow my judgment to be entirely fair. Okay, so. Whew. All right, so you have the Queen of Rods and you have the Seven of Swords. And this Queen of Wars is very nurturing. We already know she's nurturing. She's abundant. She's fiery. She's full of passion. She's sexy. She's sensual. She's cuddly. Uh huh. She has strength. Uh, what else? Oh, she may be fertile. She may be fertile. Mm hmm. Yep. But let's read on. You got the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords also is like a. You got five swords, but you're missing two. It also, also could mean that somebody's sneaking, slip, sliding, stealing, or something like that as well. Okay? But you may need to just cut some losses. All right? Hold on. Hold on, Kimo Sabe. Hold on. We're getting over here to this Queen of Rods. Wrong book. The Queen of Rods. What do these have to say? We're going to find out. This lovely queen has charm to soothe the savage bee. Witness the cat snoozing on her lap. The sunshine, bring, the sunshine lady brings light and love to the people around her, Aries. This consummate hostess is also a tireless worker for charity. Wow. So, Aries, you may be dealing with somebody that uh, they may be in a position where they work with charities, okay? Or this person is just a giver, you know, free-hearted, okay? But if this person is free-hearted, why would somebody want to take from her? Maybe that's you, Aries. Maybe you're a very free-hearted person, but somebody decided they want to steal from you. And upon them stealing, they didn't take everything. They took some stuff. A petty thief. That's what I hear, petty. A petty thief. That's what a petty thief does. They don't take it all. They take just a little bit as if they're not going to get caught. Because you know how much you got or had. Anyway, Aries. Let me go ahead. Um, let's read about the Seven of Swords now. A figure flees with five swords while leaving two behind. Your efforts will be partly successful. Perhaps it's time for a new plan. Don't let fantasies interfere with the task at hand. So in this deck, the seven of swords are uh, saying that you're going to be partly successful in whatever you're planning on doing on Saturday or uh, Aries. Okay, they don't want you to allow your fantasies to interfere with whatever it is that you got going on. All right, whatever it is that you would like it to be, that it may not turn out to be, uh, don't don't uh, don't allow it to uh, overwhelm you. Okay, so like we said, all right. Now let's put them two together. Yeah. Now let's finish this. All right, this is what they got for you. Now, I don't know why they telling you to try Jesus. Or maybe you telling somebody to try Jesus, don't try you, because you lay hands. Okay, but somebody need to try Jesus. Okay, don't try you, Libra. I mean, uh, Aries. Okay, somebody might be having some problems with their back. Okay, you might be having some back problems. All right, you know, or... You might be getting ready to be try some bi curious stuff. I don't know. They say expect a healing, uh, Aries. Okay, so you might need. Yeah, you're gonna your back right now. You're probably gonna go see a chiropractor. They're gonna snap you back in in in, in places. Gonna scare the hell out of you. 
But it's going to happen so fast, you're going to be like, oh, damn. Mm-hmm. Aries, um, you got a scam artist in, in the midst. Okay, so you Aries that like to shoot dice and stuff, I uh, strongly suggest that you don't do it because it may go into a, a, an altercation. Uh, somebody might write a check they ass can't cash, okay? All right, you got a scam hat on it. Somebody might be using some loaded dice, okay? And it, it don't even have to be dice. It could be something else, all right? And this coincides with your Friday cards. This is your twin flame. You, that, that that relationship that they was talking about. That, that passion. Uh-huh. Yeah, so. Yeah. So Friday, that's that's who you're hooking up with your soulmate. Yeah, if you decided that uh, you know, you're gonna get rid of everything and you're going to get your divine partner. I applaud you, Aries. Okay, your last but not least card for Sunday is the full moon, November the 13th, 2022. And that full moon, we're about to go into a full moon right now. So let's see what the full moon card is saying. I think this is the first time I've had the full moon card in any readings uh, uh, lately. They say during the full moon, everything will be magnified, both good and bad. It can be both viewed or at, as, a, as a time of crisis as well as time of opportunity. The full moon is symbolic of the height of power, the peak of clarity, fullness and obtainment of desire. In a reading, the full moon lets you know that now is the time to hone in on that clarity and use it to your benefit. That which was once invisible or secret is coming to the surface and it's important to now be aware of what's been buried in the past. Aries, pay attention to your dreams your feelings and your hunches at this time. Your psychic awareness and spirituality is now heightened. Use it to your advantage. Okay, now you don't have to wait till Friday, you know, to use it to your advantage because you already know we we almost uh, into a full moon. Uh, but uh, if I remember correctly, you can still uh, manifest what you want. Up to three days after the, the moon is full. All right. Yo, your moon, or your, your, uh, <laughs> your stone for the full moon card is the moonstone. Moonstone is the classic gem of lunar energies. It dispels illusions, boosts psychic senses, and connects you to the current of a divine feminine. Wear moonstones if you feel as if your spiritual power is compromised or the truth is hard to find. The incantation, I wish to see what was hidden before. The time is right to open that door. My power is strong and perception is keen. Allow the face to now intervene. You have quite a few cards here on Sunday. You have the Page of Pentacles and you have the Strength card. Okay, so the Page of Pentacles and the Strength card. All right, page of pentacles and a strength card. All right, page of pentacles. This person is looking at the last money. I hear this on my last two dollars. I'm not gonna lose. Okay, so somebody may be feeling like they're down into the last of their money. Um, okay, but they want you to have some strength about it. Don't worry about it. You are creator. You're able to make things happen. Uh, yeah, Aries, you can make things happen. Yeah, just don't be in your head about it. So what we're going to do is we're going to read the page of pentacles first. And then we're going to go back and read the strength card. The pentacles, darling. You've got to have pentacles, darling. Okay, the page of pentacles is lost in thought. Focus on the coin before him. This is the card of a scholar. Okay, the page has a thirst for knowledge and pursues it diligently. Ooh. Okay, 
So we have an Aries here that wants to go back to school or is going to school or, or have a thirst to know more than what he already knows or she knows. And and this it's a good thing when you feel like when you get to that place where you just want to know because uh, you'll end up knowing more stuff than, than, than you could imagine. You'll be just absorbing like a sponge. And then when you get the opportunity to be around people of like mind, you'll be able to, you know, uh, uh, give out that which you have in so you can make room for more to come in. However, um, so we're talking about a scholar. So they're telling somebody that either going to school or want to go to school that you're going to have to have some strength. Now, let's find out about what this strength is about. Uh, I'll see if we can get some kind of headway on this strength card. Okay. Roxanne, you don't have to put on a red light. Okay, so link to the sign of Leo. The lion is a sexual animal. Meow, kitty, kitty. But its base instincts are checked by the care, caress of a maiden. Here's the message. Use your head and not your heart. Exercise restraint. Hold your power in reserve. Courage and fortitude will bring success. Could signify healing qualities. Okay, Aries. All right. Don't get all flustered and stuff because things are not going the way you want to yeah, you want to go to school. Yeah, you've already, and you're looking at your money, and you're wondering if you're going to have enough to go, and if you got to pay a tuition or something, or you're going to have to buy books and stuff, all right? But you're going to have to have some strength, all right? You're going to have to restrain yourself from, because sometimes, yeah, you know what? Not all of you, but I'm just saying, there are some Aries that go way off the deep end, want to kick rocks and throw and, and, and throw bricks and stuff and, and, and cuss you out like that. Like you're a stranger. Mm -hmm. And that's because they're going through some frustration about the situation that's on, at hand. It's about something that they're passionate about or they desire, you know, uh, at, but they feel like they're they stuck. You're never stuck. Take deep breaths. Meditate. All you got to do is meditate. If you meditate. Hold that breath in for seven seconds and blow it out your mouth seven seconds and inhale through the nose seven seconds and blow it out again seven seconds. Clear your mind of the bullshit. You all right. You will calm the fuck down. That's right. Now, let's finish this here, Aries. Okay. You see what I'm talking about? I'm glad I said that before. Look, you got the baby gorilla card. Yeah. We just talked about that, flying off the handle, flying off the handle, doing the baby gorilla stuff. Uh-huh. And some of you, some of you Aries are uh, going to fool around there and go on a drinking spree. We don't want you to be like uh, Wendell the Wine, though. I don't want you slumming it. Mm -hmm. Some of you feel like that you need something, you need to take some pills. Don't do that. I understand. You feel like you need something to cope, but... Addictions are easy to get into and hard to get out of. And when you start making excuses uh, for why you why you doing a certain thing, why you drinking excessively, or why you taking pills and stuff, that becomes an addiction. That is your crutch, and you don't need any crutches. You too strong for that. You have a strong mind, Aries. You have a strong mind. We're not gonna go there. We're not doing it. And maybe one day. Maybe one day when I, I, I do a video and it won't have nothing to actually do with uh, tarot, I can tell y'all some things about my past, you know, if you're willing to hear about it, if you're willing to hear about it. So maybe uh, if I don't forget, uh, let's say around in January, unless uh, I get some, I do, I get some uh, feedback to say, yeah, we would like to hear it then. I'd be more than happy to tell you. You know, give you a little insight on me. All right. Now we are at your ace metaphor conversational cards. All right. You have three. They gave you three. The first one they gave you was when you get married, do you plan to share a bank account or keep separate ones? Explain your answer. Now, Aries, you can answer these questions yourself prior to you talking to somebody else pertaining to this. You know, but it's always good to get a good understanding. 
Yeah, the word even tells us that above any all things get a good understanding. You need to get a good understanding about any kind of relationship you're getting in, about money, about finances, contracts, whatever. Make sure you get a good understanding so you won't have to come back and say, I didn't know that. And they'd be like, oh, uh, oh, well. Okay, the next card, they say, when was the last time you cried and why? And the third card you got was, what was the most romantic thing you have ever done for someone? All right, Aries, I really enjoy reading for you. I do apologize again for calling you Libra. I hope that you can be able to take something out of this message. You know, like I say, you take the meat and leave the bones. Or pick what you need, you know, get your, get your feel on. But only take what belongs to you. You know, all of this you might not need right now, but you might need some of it now and some of it later on. So if you want to, you can save this to your playlist and come back to it later on, you know. Or, or you could always just say, okay, I watch Monday, now let's see what's going on on Tuesday, okay? How have you got to work there, Aries? But all I want is the best for you. All I want is the best for you. May the peace of God as a pastor understanding man rest in the Bible with you, Aries. Okay? All right? Get a good understanding. And you, Aries, that are married, um, um, don't always find fault with your mate. Okay? I always point out their flaws and stuff. That's not a good quality. Okay? Because you have some flaws too, Aries. Mm -hmm. All right. I ain't said enough. I'm going to let y'all go. Talk to you soon. Yeah, yeah.